In this video, I'll walk you through the application and its features. Now we're going to launch the application on the Raspberry Pi. We'll do this by selecting the Windows IoT Core Watcher. We'll right click on the Raspberry Pi device in the window and we'll select Web Browser here. First we need to log into the device. Next we select the Apps tab. We'll select our application in the drop down and click Start. I was able to start the application in this manner because I already deployed it to the device using the build menu in Visual Studio 2015. Here you see the application initializing. During this process, it is detecting the sensor and starting the background services. Now the main application screen is visible and we start to get sensor readings from the device and the temperature is displayed on the screen. In the upper right corner is a telemetry status. Each time the sensor reading changes, an event is sent to the Event Hub in Azure, and the count is increased. The icon color also indicates that a telemetry event is in progress. Now notice under the temperature reading there are alert thresholds. When the temperature reaches these thresholds, the screen will change. Let's force some of the alert conditions to see how the application responds. I'll put my finger on the device to raise the temperature. As you can see, we've quickly reached the upper threshold. Notice the red LED on our circuit has lit up, and the green LED is now off. I'll continue to hold until it reaches critical temperature. Now we have the yellow LED and the red LED lit. Now we let the sensor return to normal. Now I'll lower the temperature. I am using a can of air held at a slight angle so that it will blow cold air onto the sensor. Under this condition, our blue LED lit up. It went away pretty quick because the sensor warms up fast. And now, as the temperature has settled on the device, the green LED is back on and our alert statuses have cleared. Once again, you're viewing this application as it runs on the Raspberry Pi. Notice in the upper right corner, in the orange bar, the name of the sensor device is displayed. This indicates that when the application started, it detected the device and started in device mode. In this mode, the application is sending out temperature readings to the Microsoft Azure Event Hub and to the SignalR Hub. We use the SignalR Hub so that other instances of this application can get and display temperature readings. In addition, the application is listening for device commands on the SignalR Hub. I'll demonstrate how this works by running the application on two devices side by side. In the upper left corner, we have the window to the Raspberry Pi device. And in the lower right corner is my Surface Pro 3. First, I'll start the application on my Surface Pro so that you can see the state of the application when there aren't any device readings available. Notice the temperature display does not have any readings. Also notice that the device name in the upper right corner says Cloud. When this application started, it did not detect the sensor device, so it started up in client mode. In this mode, it waits for sensor readings from SignalR. Now I'll start the application on the Raspberry Pi. Watch how quickly the application on the Surface Pro gets its readings. Also notice how the two applications stay in perfect sync. With SignalR, the sensor readings are updated in real time. I can view the temperature in Celsius without affecting the other instance. Now, I'll trigger the LED test command from the client. This command is picked up by the device instance. Watch the lower left corner as the LED test is performed. Again, this command was triggered by the instance running on the Surface Pro. Now, 
I'll trigger the alerts in the same manner as before so that you can see how the two instances behave. I'm not going to show the device because I want you to pay attention to how the two instances of the application stay in sync. As the events are sent to the Event Hub, there's a Stream Analytics job reading the Event Hub and writing the events to an Azure SQL database. Let me demonstrate the history screen. I'm also using mobile services in Azure to read the sensor telemetry history. The application uses an incremental loading collection so that not all of the readings are loaded into memory at once. Instead, they are loaded as we scroll down in the view. Let me show you one last feature up close. The temperature sensor is capable of being put into interrupt mode, which means that if an alert is triggered, it will have to be reset manually. For this reason, I added a push button to the circuit. I'll show you through the debug console how the push button is monitored. Using the GPIO value changed event, we'll monitor the button and send an event when the button is triggered. In this application, we send a button down and a button up event. Notice that I held the button down for a few seconds before releasing it. I did this to demonstrate the two events. Well, that's the application. I hope you've enjoyed this project, and I hope you have fun with the code.